Oh, wow, honey. That was a hell of a party, wasn't it? It was, it was better than the bean parties I've been to growing up. I'll tell you that much. Uh, you really, you really know how to throw them. Um, I just, I, you know, I didn't think it would go over as well. You know, we invited all the, both of our bosses and their families and it just, they, I just hope it didn't, I, I, you know, I was trying to be funny there for a while and I brought up some stuff, some personal stuff and I'm so, I'm sorry. I didn't want to embarrass you, but they really, they listen, your boss, your boss loved, loved the bit. Yeah. I'm not so sure my boss thinks it's a bit though. Uh, I mean, it's, I mean, he knows it's, I, I kind of made it clear that it was kind of our bit that, you know, uh, you do this funny little thing in bed before we, you know, sleep together. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of our thing. I just, I just, I feel like you really got a kick of that. His wife was like nudging him like, Hey, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know if, uh, if I interpreted it the same way, but, uh, I feel like I'm the one who really lost out in that story. What? Yeah. Karen, no. Yeah. You, look, you looked so cool in that story. I mean, like, you know, nobody's going to believe that you, I mean, would, you know, actually, you know, <laughs> do those kinds of things. And now your boss knows and his wife knows and my boss knows and my boss's wife knows. And, and I, I do. I do appreciate, though, like right now, how you're being so vague about all the things that you mentioned in the story. <laughs> there uh, were so like, many things. You know, to like give me the freedom to rehash it and live it in my head again. Um, but I'm just gonna be honest with you. Let's uh, cut to uh, Karen's work. Uh, Karen, Karen, uh, please come in in my office. We, uh, Karen, yeah. come on in. <laughs> just Do we have a... I just want to have a little discussion about what happened this weekend. I knew this was coming. Uh, uh, I, I'm just going to be blunt here and honest with you, Karen. I, I really don't understand any of what happened. Uh, it's all very hazy in my mind what happened. If you could please rehash it for me, explain to me why I was there in the first place and what my wife had to do with it. Well, see, again, I just... <sighs> that's what happens when you throw an inception party, all right? You just, you get so, so deep into things that are happening and there's things happening in those things and then before you know it you don't know anything and that's where we're at right now exactly my point um so i'm at a point right now where i don't know if i'm supposed to fire you or promote you or kill you it's one back, of the three cut to karen at home congrats i told you it'd work i i i, I should just know to trust you I don't know. I get in my head so much about these things and I second guess stuff and I just I feel so confused all the time because I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going to happen. And I should just trust you. I'm I'm sorry. It, you know, it's not a, it's not necessarily about trust. It's just by letting it happen, being vague, you know, uh, letting things just wash over you and, and, and seeing the good that comes out of it, because the good is what usually comes out of it. Like, for instance, tomorrow I've got a meeting with my boss. Um, he specifically said that he wants to talk about the uh, the happenings of the evening the night before, and um, you know I'm I'm just gonna let it wash over me, you know. And that, but see, and that's what's so cool that you would that you would lay that out there like that for him. Sometimes well, I, mean, I just want you to lay that out there for me. You made it so clear. Like I know what you're doing tomorrow. I already feel more prepared to see how this plays out when you get home tonight. You know, cut I, to that meeting. So uh, what you said and what you did was completely unacceptable. Uh, it was inhumane. It was probably the worst thing I've ever heard. Uh, we are going to uh, fire you. We have also gone into your official file that the government has on every person. It made you unhirable by any company ever. Uh, you will never be employed again. You will never earn money again. And uh, uh, may God rest your soul. I hope you get hit by a bus. See you later. Cut to home. He said, what? 
I mean, there was a thing about the bus and um, hoping I wouldn't be breathing again. Uh, uh, long story short, I, um, I'm real. I'm super psyched that you got that promotion, though. <laughs> no, but but your boss was that specific. He was. Yeah, he was. He was. He was pretty specific. I think it's a joke, though. I think it's just. Yeah, there was a lot of paperwork and I had to go and, uh, you know, they, they came and made me get, you know, they brought me a box and I had to clean up my, my cubicle and walk me out. Um, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure my boss was just joking. I think that's, it's just part of a, it's just part of a big prank, honey. I think we'll, I think we're going to be fine. I really, I'm just going to let it wash right over me. I don't feel like you should. I, I feel like we've been given a gift of, of knowledge, of a, like a premonition of what is to come. And we can change the course of our actions based on what your boss has told you he desires. How do you, how do you think we should change it? I think, I'm thinking about, I'm, I'm thinking about just going over to his house and, and yeah. like, ha ha, Chad, you got me. No, yeah. let's, let's, before we go over there, let's get the bus. The bus that should hit me? Yes. All right, all right. Um, Get listen. to the two bosses. Well, I fired him. <laughs> Karen didn't expect him, but I promoted her. I did not see that coming. Uh, <laughs> we got them. We sure did. Showed them who's boss. <laughs> they thought it was their party. Right. <laughs> no one throws an inception party like you and I do. Oh, no, they don't. <laughs> hey, look out for that bus.